Well, they seem to be working okay at the moment. Maybe. Possibly. Forty one per cent. This one's, I think it's a 21 hour print or something. Hope there's enough filament left on there. I think there is. I think we've got plenty. Yeah. Just hope it still works. It was a real panic this morning when everything was going wrong. To be on the safe side, I've ordered a new hot end. Uh, what else have I ordered? Oh, I've also ordered some more of this uh, Bowden cable, I think they call it. It's basically it's a tube. Um, I can't remember what plastic is, but it's uh, stuff that can take the heat. But because I've shortened that, I'm a bit worried it might be putting stress on it. It looks okay, but it's shorter than it was, so I've ordered a, a new length, uh, £4 something, I think that was. You can get it cheaper, you get it more expensive. I went for one in the middle. I've also ordered a, a genuine Creality hot end which comes with that and the wires, the cables. And I can see I can get them much cheaper on eBay. <laughs> we'll see. Good morning guys. This is a very long print. We're only at 74%. I think, I can't remember which of this one, I think that one tells me we've been going for 19 hours 36 minutes so far. It's not working perfectly. There's a few stringy bits on there. So I might have to reprint some of the bits when we're finished. I had real trouble with this uh, yesterday. The filament was jammed in this tube. Normally you can pull it out and trim it and put it back through again. But when I tried to pull it out, it actually snapped. And I tried pushing bits of wire in to push it through and I just couldn't budge it. So I actually had to cut the end of the Bowden cable or whatever they call this, this tube, so that I could actually clear off the jammed bit. That bit there, it's jammed inside of there. Oh, out of focus. So that pipe is that much shorter than it should be. And I really didn't think it was going to work after that. But as I say, we've been going 19 hours now, nearly 20 hours. It looks like some of the bits are all right, but I'm looking down there. I'm not sure about that. That looks all stringy.
We'll see. It is a beautiful morning out there. Not that you can see it through the blinds. And we're not going to know whether this is any good for quite a while. That sounds a bit negative. I should be quite positive. Because yesterday morning everything was wrong. Nothing was working at all. Had to throw out what had been done because it had printed that much. You can see how thin that is. And that was the night before when I came down yesterday morning. It still looked like that. The printer was still running, but no filament was going through. Oh well. We'll see. Well, we must be getting close. Ninety-nine per cent. Twenty-three hours, fifteen minutes so far. And the only bit it's doing now is just a little bit of a sort of a circular bit at the top there. That's the only piece left. So do I just stand here with the camera just to try and capture the last few seconds? Although I suspect that's probably still another five minutes. Got something I want to print immediately after this. There's a queue. <laughs> Just waiting on that card there. It's actually a bracket for mounting this phone that I'm filming with on that tripod. Because I just like to have a very quick release so I don't have to actually screw a bracket into it. That's for my action cameras. And let's do one the same for this camera, for this phone. One like that, only slightly different with the fitting on the bottom all in one piece. So it can go straight on the tripod. This would have been a rather excessive time lapse to have done for 24 hours. Obviously, I'd have fast forwarded it. Nobody in their right mind is going to sit and watch a 3D print for 24 hours. This one is quite interesting the amount of stringiness you've got there. There's a very long string on there. I can't quite see it from here. Oh, there we are, I can see it now. Oh, change of sound. Does that mean we're getting near the end?
No, still going. I thought that change of sound might have been the top layer, but it isn't. Well, it might be, but it wasn't the end of the top layer, which is what I was hoping. And that's it. Done. Out of focus, but done. That's a bit better. So. Twenty-three hours, twenty-four minutes, seven seconds.
disable steppers. Yeah, that's got to be one of the messiest prints I've done. Lots of little straggly bits. But then, bearing in mind, I thought everything had gone completely wrong and we weren't going to get any prints out of it so I'd ordered some new bits. I can live with that. I didn't need to print two of them, I only needed one of them, but one's a tight fit and one's a loose fit. So the advice was to try one and if it worked, try the other. And I wasn't going to come back and reprint it, so I printed them both at the same time. See, if I wanted to build a bridge like that, it would never do it. But that's on its own. Okay, well, we'll get that lot off, and uh, I can't assemble it yet. I haven't got the right screws to screw it together. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.